Hi everyone, welcome to part two of teaching with interactive pixel activities. If you're just getting started, go ahead and watch the first video to learn how you can create your own pixel art and interactive questions as well. Over the last couple of months, I've read all the comments and feedback that was left for me. And a common question that's coming up is how to adapt the pixel activity so that the answer is a bit more complex. For example, the answer might include numbers, words, as well as special characters as well. Stay tuned to the end of the video to learn how you can adapt your pixel activity for any subject area. I've got two templates available for you to download and I'll have a link to that in the description box below and you can follow on with this tutorial with the two templates that I've provided for you. So let's get started. In an interactive pixel activity, normally we'll have a table on the left hand side and then a pixel art on the right hand side. The first question that we're going to create today is going to have a whole number answer. So we'll just do one plus one and the answer is going to be two. Once we're done with that, we can start selecting the cells on the pixel art that are going to be only appearing if the person has typed in the correct answer here. Select a cell on the pixel art, hold down the control button, and you should be able to select um, multiple cells at the same time. Once you're done selecting, go to format, conditional formatting, and you can see that the rule is going to apply to the range in which we selected. We want to do a custom formula. And to begin the formula, we need to type the equal sign. Refer to the answer cell, which is the cell B2. To do an absolute reference, we need to use dollar sign. So we'll do dollar sign B, dollar sign 2. When this cell is not equal to 2, the is not symbol is like this, and it's not equal to two. Then we want to color the pixel art white. Okay, so when the incorrect answer is placed in the cell B2, we're going to have white spots all over the pixel art. Okay, press done, and we can check that this is working because if we delete the number two, then the pixel art is going to have a couple of spots in it. If we type variations of the number two, then um, the spreadsheet's also going to just read that as a number. This is because in the format, this cell is formatted automatically as a number. Okay. Let's go ahead for the second question. In the second question, we're going to have an answer that's a decimal. So let's have write 10% as a decimal. Okay, and we want the answer to be 0 0.1. Let's go and delete the previous cell so we know which cells have already um, had the conditional format. And then we can go and select all the other cells. Hit format and conditional formatting. Just check that the range has been selected properly. Do a custom formula. And let's go ahead and create the formula. Type the equal sign. In this case, the answer cell is going to be in the cell B3. So we'll do dollar sign B, dollar sign three to refer to this cell right here. We're going to write when it's not equal to 0.1. Okay, we're going to color the cell white, press done. And lastly, we just need to check that this is working. So delete the cell and let's type some variations. So maybe a student will type 0.1. Okay, Google Sheet is going to read that correctly as a number. They can type 0 0.10000. And keeps going, and that's also going to be read as a number. In the first couple of questions, we wanted the Google Sheets to read our answer as numbers. In the next couple of questions, we're actually going to be changing that. Okay, so let's type the next question, which is going to have a word answer. So we're going to type, what is hello in Spanish? So word answers can be useful for English lessons and language lessons. So the answer is going to be hola. Select a couple of cells that we want to have appearing once the correct answer hola has been typed in. 
format, conditional formatting, and we're going to select custom formula. Begin the formula by typing the equal sign. We're going to select the answer cell, which is B4, or we'll do absolute reference, so dollar sign B, dollar sign 4, is not equal to, and in this case, because we want um, Google Sheets to be interpreting the cell as what we call a string, which is a sequence of characters, we're going to have quotation marks. Okay, quotation marks. So let's write dollar here in quotation marks. We're going to select um, white fill and press done. Let's check that this is working. So delete that and that looks fine. If it's not working, we need to go to format and instead of automatic, just manually change that to plain text. Okay, so that's a common um, reason why um, the cell might not be working. Okay, so it's going to be working even if a student writes all in caps as well. Okay, so that's fine. Let's go to the next question. In the next question, we're going to have a fraction answer. So we're going to write simplify, five out of 10, leave answer as a fraction, and just write no spaces. Okay, so we want students to write one out of two like this. Let's go and select some cells here. Format, conditional formatting. You're probably getting used to this now. Let's go to custom formula. And here we're going to have equals. Refer to the answer cell, which is dollar sign B, dollar sign five is not equal to and in this case because we've got a symbol inside of our input here we're also going to want to do um, quotation marks and have um, google sheets read the input as a string which is a sequence of characters so let's go and write one out of two like this and we're just going to change to white so at the moment it's not working and it's probably because of the format of the cell B5. So let's go and check that. So select B5, go to format and just make sure that it's reading as plain text. So now it's working, okay? Delete that, okay? And you can see that that's working. All right, so in the next question, we're going to have another more complex answer. So for example, um, something like simplify a plus 2a plus 4b okay just write no spaces as well um and students pretty much need to get the exact right answer which is 3a plus 4b okay you might need to tell students to write maybe in alphabetical order as well Formats, conditional formatting, custom formula. Type the equal sign to begin the formula. And we want to refer to the answer cell, which is dollar sign B dollar sign six. We want to say is not equal to and a string input. So we're going to have quotation marks. So Google Sheets is essentially reading this as plain text and uh, we might need to change the format of the cell afterwards as well and just type exactly what you want students to be typing in which is 3a plus 4b and end the quotation marks and we can see at the moment it's not working so it's very likely that we need to change the format of the cell okay so select the cell b6 head to format and now we want to change the format to just plain text okay so now let's go and delete that and now you can see it's working let's go ahead to the last question which is going to have a special character answer so let's type the app symbol which is something you might want to use in a computing class so here is the app symbol and we'll go ahead and do the conditional formatting once we have selected some cells. 
Okay, so let's go to Format, Conditional Formatting, Apply to the range that we've selected and Custom Formula. Begin the formula by typing the equal sign and the answer cell is B7, so dollar sign B dollar sign 7 is not equal to and we want Google Sheets to read the input as plain text so we will just have quotation marks the at symbol sorry and and that quotation mark change the field to white and press done okay so this one is working properly we've not had to do any um, formatting here for the cell but you can just select plain text if you'd like to do that Thank you for watching this video. I hope that you've got some ideas on how you can adapt a pixel activity for any subject area. Leave a comment below to let me know how you'll be using pixel activities within your own teaching and learning. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up button and make sure you hit the subscribe button to stay updated with new videos. Until next time, see you later and have a good day. Bye.